Anti-Asian racism is deadly. It's real. It is growing stronger and more powerful. America was rocked by another mass killing this week when at least eight people were killed in shootings at three massage parlors in Atlanta. We should be treating hate crimes as such. And make no mistake, these women were targeted on the basis of their race. Some of these incidents were not treated as hate crimes, and that's unacceptable. The people in the Asian American community know that we are being targeted. The attack comes amid a backdrop of growing violence against Asians that has escalated through the coronavirus pandemic. Uh, since the pandemic, it got so much worse. Um, and what we are seeing, you know, is not only increasing of the numbers, but I guess uh, the seriousness of the attacks are getting uh, more and more uh, violent. The White House says former President Donald Trump is partly to blame. You know, I, I think there's no question that uh, some of the damaging rhetoric uh, that we saw uh, during the prior administration, uh, blaming, uh, you know, calling COVID, uh, you know, the Wuhan virus or other things, um, led to perceptions of the Asian American community that are inaccurate, unfair, have, has elevated threats against uh, Asian Americans. In 2020, hate crimes against Asian people in the U.S. went up by 150 percent, with as many as 3,800 reports of hate incidents since mid-March 2020. Elderly Asian men have been killed on the streets of San Francisco and Phoenix, while other Asian seniors were injured in similar attacks in Oakland and New York City. Iona Chang, a Chinese-American cancer researcher, is among the victims. As they approached me, they pulled me to the ground. Um, they punched me, um, you know, I was resisting with them, I was yelling, I was screaming. I understand as a victim, it is really hard to speak about these crimes. But I feel that it's very important to let other know, others know that this is happening to our community, to speak out against it, to support one another. Many are speaking up, including community activists and celebrities of Asian descent. There is something going on and we need your help and we need everyone to get angry for us. We need help. There are people that are just afraid to leave their homes and they're coming after the elderly. You, you can't go after the most vulnerable in our community and get away with it. Many residents and volunteers in Oakland's Chinatown, which has seen a spate of assaults, have started patrolling the streets themselves. Asians have been scapegoated and blamed for the pandemic. And this is not new to our community. It's something that elected officials peddled in terms of blaming our communities, and that's led to the attacks against our community. President Biden has said he's keeping all those affected by the shootings in his prayers. As he told the nation, the recent attacks are un-American, and they must stop. The biggest stories the moment they happen from around the globe. Subscribe to Bloomberg Quick Take now for insight in an instant.